Hey, we're the Try Guys, and we're in Miami. Miami is known for its beautiful beaches. Amazing food. Sometimes the ladies don't wear tops here. <laughs> Not my fault. When I think South Beach, I think like bikinis. Will Smith. Hot ladies doing hot things. Money, fast cars. Cocaine. Basically the opening credits of Miami Vice. Yeah. And yeah. That's what we're thinking. South Beach is like a tiny, tiny bit of Miami. What's the real Miami? For me, Miami is Cuban culture, Little Havana, Calle Ocho, Versailles, Cafecito. Welcome to Little Havana. Our goal today is to explore Miami Cuban culture through four categories. Food and drink, fashion, tradition, and nightlife. The Try Guys are now the travel guys as we explore Miami's Cuban culture. <laughs> Miami has the largest Cuban population in America. I studied Spanish growing up, but... I don't think I've ever eaten Cuban food. Cuban culture, they dress in sick white linens. Guayaberas. Guayabera. Guayabera is customary Cuban dress shirt. Would you say that I'm dressed Cuban right now? No, we have to change you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we have to put the, the classic clothes oh, of the Cuban okay. person. Hi, I'm Fidel Assis. I own the Havana Collection in Little Havana, Southwest 8th Street, Miami. What you're wearing is a four-pocket Cuban guayabera. This goes back 60 years into Cuba where an old gentleman actually came and asked his wife to make him a shirt so he can go and pick more guayabas. What's the most traditional guayabera here? Okay, we're gonna show you the four package. Ah. Traditional. Oh, boy, and you wear it with the Panama hats and your Cuban cigar and you're ready yeah. to go. Oh, Zach, I found the things that'll fit you. Where are they? Yeah. Are they women's? Right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I like it. I'm ready to be an extra in an Indiana Jones film. <laughs> I feel like I look incredible. You look stunning. Ned, you look so dead right now. I think I look like a CIA. <laughs> you kind of look like a spy. I believe they have four pockets. I can have like a cookie in here, and another cookie in here, and then a third cookie right here. You can put anything in there. Before with cigars, now our cell phones. I could have four cell phones. <laughs> I've never felt this much air between the fabric and my body. The reason why they wear the linen is because it breathes. It's it's like wearing sweatpants, but they're dressy. It's so comfortable. <laughs> and after a few drinks, everybody can dance. I feel like I look like a cabana boy. Can I assume mojito? What do you think about the chest hair? Is this too much? I think you have a future. Oh, yeah. You should try to cover up a little okay. more because you have no, no jewelry. I do have one element of jewelry. Are you married? I am, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. What kind of Cuban guy would I be, do you think? A single one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for showing us this. Okay, Thanks you guys look great. I appreciate it. You'll have a good evening tonight. Oh, I'm excited. I like to eat. What am I supposed to eat there? Pastelitos, which are Cuban pastries, and there's the queso, the guava. You guys like guava. We know guava. Yeah. The lychee of Central America. It's like that fruit that a lot of people have, but like Americans don't ever try it. Everything is glazed and covered in sugar. I really hope I don't stain my white, all white attire. It's like very sticky. You touch it and it just sticks right to you. Berries are pretty sticky. It's like so much stickier. <laughs> oh, good. My mouth just had food sex. It's like raspberries that are sweet, but also tart. I would eat this for breakfast every day. Guava and cheese pastry. I hope it doesn't burst all over my blouse. Don't call it a blouse. Yeah. Puffs in your mouth, like, oh. There's like a better version of a Pop Tart. Toast is good, though, from Cuba. Sexy <laughs> pastry. <laughs> So what are some things we have to do on Calle Ocho? There are a bunch of Cubans playing dominoes. This is the infamous Domino Park. It's every day. There's a lot of people here. Old Cuban men mastering dominoes. Ned's found his home. Full of dads. I think I, I kind of get the hang of it. Pero, So here's how you play. Each player is dealt seven dominoes. Uh, Players take turns adding a domino to the table that matches the dots on either of the two ends. Uh, oh! <laughs> They're really intense, so be wary. No, 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 no! No! no. That's right, If you can't play, you have to take one from here or here. Uh, If a player can't play, they knock the table to pass. I got 
gotta say, by the way you're describing, old Cuban men are way nicer than old white men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first person to play all of their dominoes wins. So if one of us beats an old Cuban man in dominoes. No! No! I can't believe this. <laughs> I am so good at this. <laughs> All the restaurants, is there a place that we should eat? Versailles. Versailles. The best Cuban restaurant in Miami. I thought Versailles was French. You know, it is, but for some reason the Cubans have just taken it, so it's ours now in Miami. People are loving how we look here. It's a Yerba Mate soda. It smells like a Red Bull mixed with Smarties. It tastes like an energy drink. Yerba! It's the number one beer for Iron Man. It's so deeply sweet and delicious. You know what these are called in Cuba? Sandwiches. The way it all works together it's meaty, it's vinegary, it's so perfect. Plantains. It's like a banana kissing you on the mouth. Oh, there's chicken it's in here, baby. Oh, fuck oh, wow. What are they cooking it in? Gold? Fried pork chunks. It's like got the texture of short ribs inside, yeah, but the yeah. outside is like a fried chicken. Oxtail stew? I'm gonna fry tears of grease. Propa vieja? That means old clothing. That's, hey, you yeah. got it. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we want to eat that? Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. It's amazing. It's shredded beef in like this really great marinade. clothing at all. No. Oh my god. Oh, I love this one. I'm, I'm speechless. I can't. I just, I need a, please, just, you, can I have a moment, can I have a moment, Keith? Guys, we cannot orgasm in public. Do not orgasm at the table. <laughs> Cut the cameras, cut the cameras, he's orgasming. We're here at Versailles, but everywhere has this kind of food. And it's all incredible. It comes from a place that's like warm and special and like really yeah. connected through family. Yum. <laughs> Whenever you hear cigar, it's synonymous with Cuban cigar. Why is that? I don't smoke cigars, but it's a whole thing. It's like a ritual. It's like something you do at family gatherings. It's kind of like having a drink. South Florida is very rich in the history of tobacco. It dates back to the 1830s. So do they make cigars in Miami? There are cigar factories in Miami. They're hand rolled and it's like super technical. There's 330 steps from harvesting all the way to consumers. The three major fillers are the Ligero, the Viso, what the Cubans call Bolado, and the Seco. The blend of those leaves is what comes out different cigars, whether you have a medium or full body cigar. It tastes a sort of raisin, raisiny flavor. It's not as easy as it's Downs, rolling cigars, 100% handmade, nothing machine. The only machines that they do is to cut and to press. Are Cuban hands better? Look at these what hands. <laughs> got stupid little Jew hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. you, sir. This is preparation of the filler. And you see how she positioned in the center of the two leaves? Oh, yeah. You have to do that. If not, your cigar is going to be burning uneven. Tiene uh, adviso para me. I'm feeling real confident. I'm uh, pretty good at rolling things. Three, two, one, chop that dick. Can I, can I, I should do it though, right? Nunca aquí. Okay. Siempre aquí. Siempre aquí. Más fuerte? No, no tanto. No tanto, okay. Oh, God. Aquí? Okay. Nailed it. Oh, it's two pieces. Oh yeah, that's firm. That's a cigar, ladies and gentlemen. Muy bonita? Sí. Sí. Ese cigar es lo mejor cigar que su es veo en su vida. Sí. No. Now we're getting ready to press the cigars after round one. It looks like Ned has a little bit of an edge on sack, but we'll determine now when it gets pressed and see how it looks when it's already had the shape and form. Cuando esté con la capa pasada, que voy a ver si está bonito o She says, wait for the verdict. There's the Cuban coffee. Cuban coffee? Why is it, is it not just coffee? Cuban coffee is just crazy strong. Crazy, crazy strong. It's like a, a thing you do with family, like it's meant to be enjoyed. It's, it's not how Eugene is. Yeah, I don't understand anything. the word sip. I just don't see how there could be that much caffeine in this. It's so small. Hi, Nichir. Oh. Oh my God. 
Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, that is so sweet. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I can tell that it's really strong, but it's so sweet. It's like really good dark chocolate that's mm. been lightly sweetened. My face is tingling. Yeah. I feel immediately different. Whoa. Mm. I could climb a fucking mountain right now. I want to have five of these with every meal. Can we have another one of these? No, seriously, because I'm almost done with mine. I, it I, is a tiny cup. It should be in LA. It should be in New York. It should be everywhere. A plus, 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 plus. Tiny coffee, big flavor. Back at the cigar factory, Keith and Eugene are going to take our pressed filler and wrap it to be a finished product. These are like the inside of the hot dog, and that's the exactly. casing. The little knife tool, that's called a chaveta, and that's how you uh, cut it. It's kind of like rolling sushi. Uh, yeah. This is just arts and crafts. I understand this entirely. Uh, so, I'm super confident I could take over the world. I could take over so, all of Miami. With the, the, the sheer <laughs> amount of <laughs> sheer amount of cappuccino that's in my system. She had no problem, and this is way tougher than I thought it would be just to cut the first line. Oh, no. What happened oh, here? Oh, sure. Do. Nothing, oh, he nothing happens. Se rompió la capa. Probably shouldn't have had that third cappuccino. Eugene can't stop no. fucking up. No llore. No llore. Did I do it? Is it okay? Oh, and then you push it in. Uh -huh. She's doing all the work for everyone. We're merely her puppets. I do feel a lot like Demi Moore. She's my Patrick Swayze. Oh, my love. I think I'm done. I'm actually pretty confident in my cigar now. His looks like it's got some angles in it. What we gotta do now is we have to take our cigars to a cigar master of 50 years who's going to basically appraise who has the better amateur cigar. That's a winner right there. Uh, Wow, what a roller coaster this has been. I am better than Eugene at pretty much everything in this video. I look better, I roll better, I eat better, I feel better. Keith, it's our baby. I appreciated how much artisanship goes into making just a single cigar. You know, I don't think the world is ready for my cigars, and that's fine. Uh, most of the best art in the world scared people at first, too. Yeah. These cigar rollers do it like that, like boom. I understand why these are so special and expensive now. Yeah. You want to smoke a cigar? You lit it through the head when you're supposed to smoke. What an idiot. You're savoring the flavor. So I can taste the same spice that like tickled my nose. I don't think I'm very good at this. Yeah. Yep, that, that makes you dizzy. You feel very expensive. Um, we typically do it when we're celebrating something. For like the birth of a child, for like a wedding. Nice meal. Yeah. This, this makes sense. This is yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Suave. 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 So this is all great and all. Most importantly, how do Cubans fucking party? Fuck and party or fucking party? I would, wouldn't mind either answer. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen to both. <laughs> They're one and the same. And <laughs> you should go to Viernes Culturales. Which is an arts and culture festival in Little Havana for the past 15 years. Oh, I need a necklace. I need a chain. It's a domino. I feel like this completes the look. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any cash on me though, do you? I think my wife would like this. These are fun. Oh, they're refrigerator magnets. I love the colors. They're so rich and vibrant. and they love art and I love them for loving art. Some of them have been here from the Scarface time that it was so bad here and they have made these galleries survive and they survive. You would never know that anything bad had happened to them even though a lot of these people had fled their countries. They're still happy. I recommend for anybody that wants to explore the Cuban culture to come to Miami or anywhere in the Cuban neighborhood. Today is one big party and it'll come back. The whole like neighborhood just turns into this massive party. Like there's a lot of food and drink and people just dancing all over the place, like in the streets and stuff. Dancing in the streets? Yeah, yeah, totally. Where else are you gonna dance? They dance, they dance their hearts all over out. the streets. I guess on a scale of one to ten, how hard to the people in Miami party? Off the scale. <laughs> It's insane. Oh, everybody's so nice. Oh, there's a street party going on. We are getting hot because our pants are so loose. Yeah. Cuban Americans are extremely proud. They love to cook and love to be with family, and that's really what matters. Your family wherever you go. So once you're there for a little bit, you'll become kind of Cuban by the end of it and have a little piece of that with you forever. So. We might become Cuban AF. You might. I love whispering. Whoa! <laughs> what a time we have had! You think you have to be
plan a vacation. No. Just go where the locals go. It is the most loving, positive place I've ever been. It's rare that you have people who just walk up to you with open arms and say, hey, you're family, let's party. It's kind of amazing that there's so many of those like strong people in Miami where like their grandparents came or their parents came from Cuba and they kind of left everything and they started anew. The Miami story is the American story. They didn't wait for it to feel like it was home. They like made it their home. I think it's really easy to come to a city and just go to the tourist location, try and dig a little bit deeper. Before the Cuban immigration, Miami was nothing compared to what it is now. You're in the north of South America. Yeah, you're in northern Cuba. I can't sum up Miami in a single sentence. You just have to come out here and experience it for yourself.